disabled, physically challenged, differently able. Words are all labels. So here I am in Leeds with my labels to find out what the word is on the street. So if you were going to describe me, which one of these would you use? I would use that physically challenged. No? No. OK. No. Disable, everyone's used to that. Yeah, everyone knows what it means. It sounds more politically right. Yeah. Handicapped. No, not particularly. No. Um, handicapped, no. No? No. Disabled, yes, yes I'd use, use that use word. That. Right. Disabled, probably. Let's stick to disabled, probably. Right, cool. We took our words and our public opinions to an expert. Here at Leeds University, Colin Barnes lectures in disability studies. So what exactly is wrong with the word handicap? It's the association with charity and of course it, it's the imposition of some kind of limitation on your ability. How does a person know what language they should use? Consult disabled people. So which one would you like to be used the most out of those? I suppose disabled, really, because it's one word that most people associate with disabled people. <laughs> and which one do you hate the most? Handicapped. Right. But handicapped? Not a word I'm particularly fond of and would be... I think slightly offended if anybody used that to describe me or any other person with a disability. All oh, right, okay. Handicapped. Yeah. A word like handicapped has been widely rejected by disabled people, and yet it appears in print all the time. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Even the television pages that announce this very programme use that word. So, how will it ever end? And if you want to know which words I prefer to describe me, they're dark and handsome, irresistible and sexy. Yeah, any of those should do nicely. Mm.